Hi everybody, Baker Divers, and we're back out to Gang Treasure Hunting as we do. Get out the road, you! Know. And uh, yeah, we've got two different canals this week, try this one. So, first fine piece of metal and a couple of batteries there, look. And we've also got Johnson Adventures with us, which are behind the camera. We're out to social distance. And we've got, uh, we believe, Nigel Perry on the way as well. So, we'll get him on when he comes. I'm sure he'll get on, guys. Found about four pennies so far and uh, had a little bit of chain. I'm just going to start taking that. Right. Some type of uh, heater cover or something like that. Yeah, I think it is a heater cover. I was starting to think it was a little bird cage or something, but I don't know. Kind of uh, hold up a minute. Let's take the back and clean up, guys. I'm just an artist, it's probably just an English book. Take it back and clean it up. Been here about 15 minutes, guys. That's my third scaffold clamp. And uh, that's uh, off a bed. Just to use them at work, yeah. Let's link uh, two beds together. I thought it was a shirt first, but it's uh, it's all metal. So who knows? Hello. Hold on to something like that. Yeah. Oh, I'll tell you what that is. Bit of an old speaker. Bit of an old speaker, guys, that is. In the last two weekends. Just take you off the stand, guys. Magma. It's not a rider, unfortunately, unless you like. Uh, you got to think about sharp bikes things. in the minute, don't you? Yes, I well, have. There you go. Look at his bike. Pull that from the other side of the cut out there. So, yeah. Yeah, that's last week. Back of a... 
Two. Do you want oh, I've got something to keep you warm. Yeah, two. If you don't move that lamp, I'll lamp you. Uh, four. Is it? Four. And that's will pull the bag up, guys. Four bends. On the edge of the canal, right in front of you. One of my points. Beads. Beads. Oh, yeah. Look. Beadings. Oh. Oh. Charlene Johnson Adventures. Trust you to notice them. Call her the Mac Pod. Back of the phone, phone guys. Yep. They're ready to send a message. Thank you. Beautiful phone. Wow. No, I'm standing with you. I'm really proud of them. I really can't face them. They're in the range. What's that? Oh, that's nice. I thought you were straightening it out. Yeah, that's right up my street. Jesus Christ. <laughs> there we go, just found JC guys. Uh, actually, I better say Jesus because I don't want to offend anybody, but there you go. So, so I've got a lot of American people watching our channel, so there's Jesus. Uh, I'm sorry about the picture quality today, guys. The, the weather is atrocious, and there you go. So, just found that. Nice, I like that. You can have that. Oh yeah. I could go from Rouse and Beach bread. Yeah, give him right. Ah yes. Rose Rose Bees. No, I don't think I want to see how bad it is to be able to do that because it's a shot. Sorry, so I'll just get out of the way. Somebody's Christmas tree. Oh, yeah, right. I'm, I'm just really that must have been being killed out. Sorry, being killed. Next calls come for our girls. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my Oh, that's a bag of water. There we go, guys. So, just found another little piece of jewellery. There you go. There you go, guys. Once upon a time, that was a very nice bike. I can't read what it says. Something 650. Well, that's a good one. That's right. So, two, two locks on. Just didn't do the job. Oh, Ronnie, you've got two locks on it, didn't you? You know what I mean? I just can't read that. Something B-A... Oh, Dakar. Dakar 650. Is that boy can all just pull that guys, a Dakar 650? Seat in this rotten weather. So, yeah. Just found this, guys. Now, obviously, it's got to be cleaned up. I don't know if you can see. But let's get you in the light a bit because it is raining. But let's get, try and get you in the light. And if you can see, there is actually writing on it. And if you turn it over, some kind of pattern as well. 
So we'll clean that up when we get home and, and, and see what that is. I wonder if you can make it out. So, so yeah, we'll clean that up. Glenn's just found this guys. So just wanna get you in the light a little bit. Let's take you over here again guys. So I'm trying to keep you out the rain. So yeah. I think it's the uh, maybe the old pound coins. some kind of uh, pin badge uh, you can see it there but, uh, I'll clean it up I'm not sure safer together it's not that the pin badge there I'm actually calling you in there now. Okay, uh, phone. Another phone, guys. Cyber shot. Uh, Is it a phone? Put it up in front of that door. Sony Ericsson. Yeah, I'll handle the Oh, look at that phone. Old Nokia. That's, that's the third phone from that spot. Nokia phone there, guys. Got some phones coming out today in coins and. Bikes. Bikes. <laughs> Money. Money. Yeah, Money. It's got divert on it. <laughs> Just pull this out, guys. Little uh, kid scooter. There we go. Just pulled out this what looks like a bangle. Yeah. And I've kept that because it's quite wide on one side. But then around there it narrows in. So I just want to make sure it's like not a metal ring or something. So I'll get going to get that clean up when we get home. Oh yeah, I thought I'd keep that just in case. And then it's got a bag. Let's have a look. It's got a bag. Oh, I remember this bit where I pulled out that machete that will act on to me. Look. That's a belt of some kind, isn't it? Yeah. Let's see. A belt? Oh, it is. <laughs> well, that's a nice belt. <laughs> I told you it was. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, that's nice. It's magnetic, so it's not gold. It's just. Uh... Mm. Felt like a load of coins, how you say, when uh, I put yeah. it in. So. Nice. Oh, it's a tour. How's it tour? Oh no, you're probably right. Yeah, no, 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 Oh, so I'm not getting the clean up lovely. They never rust. 
<laughs> there must be the other of the middle of Alamin, you know what? Right. The, the down turns over the rust. Can't be out there. Unless it's just ping there by that penny. Yeah, well. That's a, that's a, that's now they're doing it to the magnet, please. No, 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 it is magnetic, yeah. yeah, yeah. It'll be like a nickel then or something. I think you're right about rupee. There's a two and there's a one. Can't see that. Can't quite see what that is, guys. I think it's a rupee. Empty the till. It's actually size out on there. Can you make it out? Yeah, give it a rub. Hold your hands up. Empty the till. No, no way. way. That's bizarre, isn't it? Ah. Huh? I'll hold your hands up. I've got a thing to have on there. <laughs> Won't be worth them. Um, just, just tip it upside down so there's a few pennies in there. <laughs> oh, oh, sorry mate, not even a blinking penny. Not even a straight penny in the oh, back. Never mind, noise. <laughs> Probably you'll be pulling them up with your magnet in a minute. Fair play, fair play. Good find, didn't I? Yeah, you're right. Yeah, where are you going? Tuck till tuck till now, get it. Tuck till now, Three legs. Three legs. Oh dear. I've been a bit short change with these jokes, Nigel. Yeah. Yeah, well it's the thing. You've had your pound of money back if you should do that. Yeah, it's a bit nice, mate. Oh, there we go. Oh, 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 oh. As I'm on a roll and I identify two, I'll say, oh, radio. Yeah. 
Isn't it? Yeah. The bike's nothing to Awkward idea there, guys. There's the old plug you used to plug in the back. It was easy to nick. It's all stalled. So it's all warm there but still got the shoe part which I'm interested in. Oh perfect. So Marie just pulled up that guys we thought it was a piece of scrap off the bridge at first but on closer inspection and we will find a number on this if I clean it up. Um, it's a cobbler's shoe mould, cobbler's last, whatever you want to call it. So yeah. So it's a keeper Marie look what I've done is uh, to show people. Yeah. I've just knocked all the thick rust off. Oh, lovely. But I do now, so I might enjoy it. Two more throws, never go now. Oh! I've blown myself a fish out of the canal. Oh, sharpie. Caught a fish. Yeah, Caught a fish out of the canal, guys. Caught some sardines. Whatever you can see, yeah, right? Yeah, no, I'm should we get Paul to do the challenge this time? You could have them on some toast. I think they might be a so snail fish because it's still in its house. <laughs> I love it. Uh, oh. Paul! <laughs> You're doing a Peaky Dippers challenge, Paul. Oh, Ooh. he's eating at the moment. We'll have to do it later. No, uh, Found a tin of sardines. Do you want some fish in your uh, roll? No. So we're just going to get to open it? No. And make sure the sardines are in there? No. <laughs> Watch your spice, guys. No. Come on. Let's I've got a coin. I, I think it looks like a shilling. An old shilling. I can't tell for definite. I've got to clean it off, but uh, I pulled it up and it was a disc. You know, I keep on about these discs. Yeah. So I've brought the rust away. You can see there's a shield on there, look. See? So it's an old coin of some kind, that is. Oh, nice. I don't know it's a sixpence or what. I'll have a look. And I've just Boy, pulled it. And I've just pulled up guys a pair of keys. I've had to uh, put the camera away a bit because uh, it was all steamed up as you probably saw on the video. Uh, so I've been trying to keep the camera a bit warm. So yeah, they're quite new keys and they've been chucked in there. And I'll probably look like a drowned rat guys, but uh, <laughs> so it's been tipping it down again today. Little bracket, take that on. Make use of that. It's got away the nail in and hang something on. So yeah, take the back on. Oh Paul's gonna open the tin of sardines Glenn found. He's gotta do it because he had the better phones last week. So this is his payment. Oh smell from here. I know. <laughs> oh that's nasty. You think they're off, Paul? Yeah, can give them a bit of whiff, mate. Because I need to make I need to make sure they are. Yeah, they're off. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'll, uh, I'll, I'll, I'll smell that one, Paul. Thank you very much. <laughs> and on that note, Glenn's. <laughs> you ain't barfing, are you, darling? That's Paul from Johnson's Adventure Store. <laughs> Get away from it! Oh. Oh. Sorry guys! <laughs> oh, he's got his... <laughs> he's got his mask! <laughs> I'll tell you something now. When something's been in the canal, even if it's sealed, down out me. Down out me. <laughs> Telling you now, down out me! <laughs> Everybody, Pinky Dippers, and we cut to the fine part of the video. Uh, yeah, it was a miserable, miserable day. Grey, wasn't it, Marie? Yeah. Grey, murky, rainy, you name it. 
they had all, all of it thrown at us. I think it even started to try and snow at one point. <laughs> but uh, yeah, so quite a few things to say on this fine video. But first of all, I'll do the fines as normal. I'll just show you what we've got. Didn't get nothing absolutely spectacular, but fines are fines. And they're out the cut, they're out the canal. So, first of all, when you may ask, it's peaky cracking up. No, I'm not. Um, I've just decided to start keeping all these bits of metal from now on. The most hated magnet fishing find a scaffold clamp. Well, it's part of the scaffold clamp family. <laughs> um, I'm going to keep these because I've got some ideas for them. So, that's one of them. I don't need to keep showing you that because you know what they look like. Uh, I found a bag, didn't I? Yeah. And I thought it was full of coins. I got my hands around it. I was all excited. And it wasn't. It was this belt. There you go. But, <laughs> listen to the sound it makes. So, you know where I'm going to go with that one, guys. I'm going to make it look a bit more prettier. And then, you go in the garden. Yeah. Even if I have to take them all off individually and re them and yeah. drill little holes through them. Like a wind chime. Like a wind chime. If you can hear a rumbling, that's my stomach. I've not been right uh, for the last couple of days. My stomach's a bit dippy, but you'll see, well, you've seen that on the video. Uh, found this thing. I bought this back at first because I thought it was like a big fold out knife. Then cut into these holes. But as you can see, it's just, uh, it's off. I think it's off a lawnmower. Um, the blade or something off a lawnmower. So, yeah. There you go, that's that. So that'll be scrapped. Don't be keeping that, do we? Sticking to gardening, which I won't be doing yet with the weather. Garden fork. There we go. They're all coming useful. Can't knock me. Can't knock me. Um, found one. Burn the phone. Two burner phones. Well, two burner phones and the cover of another one. So that they must go in the junk. Don't be keeping phones, do we? Um, we've got two dinner knives. There you go. Every week, with a file, some kind of cutlery. And some. Plastic, I don't know when we pulled them up because we didn't use a grappling hook. Plastic rosary beads, but as you can see, they're plastic coated. They're not real pearls, guys. They're just, just junk, so they'll go in the bin. They're doing the rubbish. Found a lighter. No. Uh, one padlock. Piece of brass on the end of there. And two padlocks now, that one looks a bit older. It's got like a round thing on the front. I have tried to clean this up, but I don't put too much effort into padlocks unless I know that they're really, really old. It looks old enough, but not something I really want. Marie found a hook and insisted on bringing it back. Well, it's going useful. <laughs> the amount of, things we've, the amount of <laughs> things we've got that are coming useful in this house, guys, we'll never use them. <laughs> I mean, she married me and thought I was going to be useful. A <laughs> uh, bunch of keys. Looks like a back door key and a front door key. There you go. Uh, found a little, another car key. Persia. There you go. That doesn't look like the main key, that doesn't. Let's just turn them out. Little Persia scooter or something. So I used to have a Peugeot skirt back in the day. Found a blank disc which I tried to clean up because um, it had the same thickness as a coin. So I thought it was quite promising until I started to clean it up and it's just a blank piece of metal guys. So if you don't try, you never know. Marie bought this back because this was wide when it got thinner there and she thought it could have been an old ring big bulky ring but it's not it's just a piece of pipe guys that's all it is yeah 
and it wouldn't be a gold ring because gold doesn't rust. <coughs> so, did what? you just? What? Oh, sorry, I thought you'd done something there. Oh, I just coughed. Oh. Piece of chain. I'm going to start keeping a bit into these, <coughs> like I say, guys. <coughs> I've got a bit of a tickle in my throat. <laughs> uh, yeah, so bits of chain. There you go. We're not picking it up anymore with the chain gang. Yeah. Ooh, ooh, getting bad, man. Getting yeah. bad. Um, we're done. 10, 20, 30, 40. 50, 60, 70, 80 pence in 10s, 5s, 1s and 2s. Oh. Yeah. That's good. Fair. And that weird little thing. Now it did have writing on but I've, I've cleaned it and it's all come off. I think it might have been a little prayer book or something. Or a tag off some boots or something. So, <laughs> rubbish. Um. There is a few old coins here. Well, I'll say a few old coins. That's definitely an old coin. I can see, I don't know if the camera will pick it up. You can see some kind of a shield on that. Mm, I don't know if you can see it on there or not. But you, there is a shield on there, guys. So I will clean this up. I think it's going to be along the line of a sixpence. Something like that. So, 40s, 50s, 60s. Something like that, yeah. Uh, that's just another little blank piece of metal. But I do clean them all up to check them because you just don't know. Found an old school lure. I mean, if that's not old school, then I've not seen them about. Um, you know, so not the prettiest of lures like, but it was red until I cleaned it. Found a bangle. There we go, just a costume Geordie bangle. Because it's obviously magnetic, so it's not gold. Probably our best finds um, for this week, really, guys. I've got one historic find to show you. But yeah, so our best finds this week would be this is the Seek. I believe it is anyway. This is the Seek um, Maltief, if you want to put it like that. Symbol. So there you go. That's Sikh. But we was at the back of the Sikh temple. So. Uh, we found an earring. There you go. Again, costume and jewelry, guys. We found this little badge. BHX. Safer together. You tell me, I'll tell you. There we go. That's that. But that day, I did find Jesus. And it's cleaned up quite nice, actually. Um, and Marie likes to play, so I'll give Marie this. There we go. Little crucifix, is that the right word? Or a cross? Just a cross. Um, and on the back it says protect protect God. So yeah, it's a uh, nice little just a key ring. But may I'll keep it with you, babe? Mm -hmm. Don't be too close to me because I start to burn. <laughs> there you go, that's that. But my favourite find personally guys, because I'm into the history <laughs> side of things now, and that you look to mess at the moment, but believe me. Oh, hang on, I've got one more little fine Marie just pointed it out, she's gone. <laughs> <laughs> on the same thing as the coins, now, Marie found this further down the canal, and I found this down the other end of the canal, so it's quite ironic. But this is a lead pound coin, and it's an old pound coin, because the pound coins have changed now. now obviously, British people will know this. But American people, or if you live in a different country, won't. Um, so I'm presuming that's a forged one. That's a forged coin. That's my head to lead. I can actually bite into that. But the ironic thing was, let's see if I can get it where the camera will pick it up. Further down the canal, Marie pulled this up. And if you look in there, can you see the coin? The imprint of the same coin. 
Yeah, I got it. Yeah. That guy is. Can you see the tube? Yeah. Is a mould. Turn it round. It is a mould. To mould, uh, what they've done is put another side mm -hmm. onto this, like that. Made a little tube, poured the molten lead in, and then let it set, and then you've got your lead pound going. So that is part of forging, forging coins. So it makes you wonder how many of these we pulled out we didn't, re we didn't realise, you know what I mean? But yeah, that is uh, part of a moulding kit. So, some dodgy dealing has been going on. But yeah, uh, back to the historic find, and it looks a bit of a mess of man, but I will clean it up, and I'm going to primer it and spray it black and put it with the other one, is this here. Marie, when she pulled it off, thought it was off the bridge, which I thought was quite funny. But when I looked at it closely, you'll probably see on the video, I, uh, obviously it is a cobbler's, cobbler's last. Well, part of one. There you go. I don't know what size that would be. Move to male or female. But I'd say. Size 8, maybe? No, I'm going for an age, yeah. I'd say 1900, 1920 at the most. Mm -hmm. I mean, it could be later than that. I mean, there was, you know, there was cobblers about up until oh, I was a kid, like, but. That, that's old, because it's been et away at by the water. So, yeah. You like the cobblers uh, last? I just like anything that's historical that you can keep. And I mean, eventually, in years to come in, it, shops are closing down now, modern shops. So all these shops where you used to have your shoes done and stuff like that, they won't exist no more. So all their tools will end up in the canal and all of them. <laughs> <laughs> and that'll be collector's pieces. Right, um. Exciting news. Exciting news. Uh, first of all, I had a comment, which I wasn't happy with. And it was a bit of a troll, guys. And um, I won't name no names. I know what his name is. He keeps giving me a little bit of grief all the time. And he's basically told me not to put now you'll be 40 in my songs or else. Well, here's a message to you. I'm going to keep putting you'll be 40 in my songs. Um, if you don't like it, don't watch my videos. Um... I know that all the rest of my lovely subscribers like the way we do our videos, so that's it. I'm not going to bow down to one person, so please feel free to. Top one. <laughs> New one. Uh, I'm big and ugly enough to take it, so. Yes, yeah, so good news, these guys, on a better note. Um, as you're aware, if you look at the top of our Peaky Dippers page, uh, you'll see a link to the to donate money. Or, uh, yeah, it's donation really. Uh, we don't push it on people, it's in small print. If people want to do it, they can do it. I've got um, a lady called Man Mandy Balge, who sends bits through, bless her. Thank you so much, Mandy. Um, Marie Padretti, thank you so much. And... Willie Anderson from Arizona, USA, also sends uh, bits and bobs through as well, and we so appreciate it. We don't force it on anybody, but it helps out with some of the stuff that we get for the channel. So I got myself a little fines cleaner, like a little ultrasonic cleaner, um, and it, it, it has been beneficial. Um, but with the rest of the money, I have opened up the channel to other ventures, and... I have got Peaky Dippers and Peaky Diggers, my son, this. Da, 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 da. I don't know if you can see properly. This is the Ice, uh, Garrett Pro Ice coil mm. um, with metal detector covers. I've got a pinpointer with it uh, so you can find the, the things um, and a phones bag as yeah, well. It's got all accessories with got it. got all accessories with it. So, to you three people, to, uh, to anybody actually, who's sent bits and bobs for it, thank you so much, you're all amazing. Um, it all goes towards the channel, and, 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 and Peaky Diggers channel as well. I don't want people thinking it goes towards our lifestyle, it does not. Um, I, I bring my own money in. Um, these are just bits of extras for our channel, 
and we really appreciate them. Uh, so from the bottom of my heart and Marie's heart and the family, thank you so much. Uh, without you guys it wouldn't be possible. Um, I've heard a few comments on videos saying that it's the last time they go magnet fishing next week. No, it's not for us. <laughs> um, <laughs> so uh, we have got next week and I will be doing the Sunday after, which will be the day after Boxing Day. And I've got all that week as well, so I might even get one in then. So if you're not going to have magnet fishing, up to you. <laughs> I'm going out. See you later. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I'm going out. Um, I'm going to probably get another three videos over the Christmas period. We better look. So uh, yeah, uh, anything else I need to mention, Maria? And always ask this guy. Don't think so. That's about it, isn't it? Yeah. Nigel Perry, Silver Fox, you're an amazing person. Every time we get together, we have a laugh and joke. And, uh, we, he uh, makes my, the day. My stomach hurts when I finish with him. And Johnson Adventures, um, thanks for always being there with us as well. Uh, that's it really guys. So, by order of the Peaky Dippers. Don't have a Merry Christmas because I shall see you before. <laughs> Don't have a New Year, Happy New Year because I shall see you before as well. So, see you later guys and thank you very much. <laughs>